Have this ever happened to you? Joining a Telegram group and then Rose, that is an admin, welcomes you immediately and even readily responds to any question you ask on that group. Rose is actually not a human being but a chatbot. And on today's episode of Tutorial Wednesday, I'm going to be teaching you how to manage your Telegram groups with huge membership using the chatbot Miss Rose. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right in. If smartphones are regarded as one of the major sources of distraction, then learning how to use your smartphone productively is very important. And on this channel, we teach everything about smartphone productivity and profitability. And if this is the kind of video you want to keep receiving, hit the subscribe button down below. And to get notified when I release a fresh video, hit the bell icon and you will be first to know when I drop a fresh video. My name is Frederick. Keep watching. On Telegram groups, you can actually have over 200,000 members in it. And guess what? If you have up to even 10,000 or even 5,000 or more, it could be very Herculean to manage or control the people that are in it. Why? Telegram, it's not like WhatsApp. Anyone from anywhere can just join the group just by searching for a keyword that your group contains. And guess what? Some of those people that join those groups actually join the group for the purpose of spamming the group or flooding the group with unnecessary messages. I've, I've been in groups that has over 10,000 members. 20,000 members in it and some of these groups actually do not even have an admin that is controlling the activities on that group because it's quite very tasking right but with miss rose but group management can be effortless you can key in um command in the chat bot so that whenever someone needs anything in the group the bot responds immediately and also set rules actually that when someone breaks them the bot can either ban the person or remove the person from that group and so much more commands that you can give the bot to to carry out in the group and then you can go ahead and do other things while the bot manages your group so one of the features you're going to be getting in using miss rose bot one of them is speed in response immediately someone wants you give in the command and turn on the bot it responds to everything like when someone joins or even if you if someone should join and you need to set up capture right make sure that the person is not another spamming bot that have joined the group all right they can also set up capture that needs to verify that that person that joined the group need to verify before being able to post messages on that group or if you still need the bot to ensure Sure that anybody that joins the group does one activity or the other before being allowed full access into the group this bot can also handle that i believe that you must have seen this kind of bot in different telegram groups and wondered how you can get it also done in your own group and that is what i'm going to be teaching you today using your smartphone before we get started please hit the like button that is hit the thumbs up button so that you actually help me promote this channel that's the best way to appreciate the work that i do in creating these videos for you weekly all right to set up your miss rose bot you're going to go to your browser okay and visit this website it's actually on the description down below all right so on visiting it of course you should have telegram already and you've already set up the group also that you want the the telegram the telegram chatbot to manage or to you want rose to manage okay so i'm going to tap on send message and then you're going to select the group that you want the the bot to manage so i'm going to select this group that i just created okay so this is the group that i created you can see hey pm me if you have any question on how to use me all right so i am going to i already know how to use it all right so i'm going to tap this button over here all right and then tap start so once this is done the bot is already active okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to now start setting up other things like i'm going to pm the the bot right now okay i'm going to send a direct message to the bot so this is a direct message to the bot okay so i'm going to write help okay so once this is done you can see different things you can you can do with the bot you can see hey my name is rose i am a, a group management bot here to help you and all of that okay so help starts me all right so i'm going to i've already um done this but i'm going to still select it again so i'm here to help so now the bot is going to the next thing i'm going to do is add me to chat all right i've already added it to the chat okay i've already done that all right i've already done that so what i'm going to do is to make it an admin okay so let's make this bot an admin promote to admin all right 
so now it's the admin so i'm going to come back to this place and then start setting up other things like um now i'm going to select greetings okay so you can see the welcome greeting all right you can see the welcome greeting so how do i um turn on the welcome greeting all right i'm going to go to that group and then write um welcome and yes now this is how i'm going to do it so this is the group all right and then i'm going to write welcome yes all right so you see i'll be welcoming all new members from now on so the next thing i'm going to do is to set the welcome address all right so set welcome and then hello then username all right or just write first welcome to this group maybe check pinned check pin messages for more information all right so this is it the new welcome message so i'm now going to ask a friend of mine to try joining this group so that we'll see how it works all right so i'm going to copy the group link all right and ask a friend to try joining this group so while i wait for the friend to join all right so you can see how the bot welcomes her all right now let's go back to the pm all right so you can see goodbye if i want to set a goodbye message so that whenever someone leaves the bot actually says goodbye but this is not necessary so you can see the set welcome i did all right you can see reset welcome and all of that then you can see clean message delete all the service messages all right this might be important to you now over here is the captcha that i talked about whenever a bot is spam bot and joined a group and wants to spam the this thing so for you to make sure that anybody joining the the chat all right the group chat is a human being you can set up a capture all right so this is how to do this i've selected captcha all right then to turn on the capture i'm going to go to the group and then write capture on all right so so the person i've joined and you can see hello oniela welcome to this group check pinned messages for more information all right so this is how it works so let's write the capture now capture okay and on so okay capture can only be used in super groups super groups are groups with so many persons in it okay so if i did been this group has a large number of persons all right that is when i can use capture so there are still several more options that you can try out in this chatbot all right you can see several things that i can try out. so let's go back and see more information on this chatbot. so over here is the admin row so let me select or let's just go to anti-flood first so whenever someone joins your group and tries to send huge number of messages all right so how to control that is by doing Doing what turning on miss rose to check on the um the number of messages that somebody sent so you can see admin command flood all right get the current anti-flood settings okay so set flood number all right so i'm going to set the flood number now and other things so let's go to the group all right let's go to the group and tap this button so set flood 10 so you can see anti-flood setting for high has been updated to 10 all right so if someone tries to send more than 10 messages now let's do set flood mode all right ban updated so whenever someone sends more than 10 messages in this telegram group the bot immediately bans the person in the case where you want to save a particular information that people might want to revisit whenever they join the group all right so this is how to do it so i'm going to tap on this button over here and write save all right then test all right then i'm going to bring in that message i want people to always see whenever they join the group all right yes you might actually say ah, you can just pin the message but sometimes people don't actually get to pin messages all right so people don't actually get to go to pin message so you can just say so this is what you do to check it, more information about rules or whatever right so this so you see safe test move so whenever someone joins the group and wants to assess important information all they need to do is to wrap to tap hashtag tests you see this is the information you need here fni all right so this is how it works so this bot actually responded to my test so this is how the bot we keep doing different there's so many things actually that you can try out whenever you come to the pm all right to the personal message right here this is where you get to see different things that you can set up in your chatbot you can see rules if you want to set rules and warnings and all those other things so many things that are actually here all right that you can set up using the rose chatbot i believe that right now you can comfortably set up your rose chatbot with all of these information 
was that video helpful you might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one i released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you always be the first to know when i release a fresh video that is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to <laughs> my name is frederick thank you for watching and see you on the next one